Welcome to Healthy Wealthy Academy. Learn how to be healthy, wealthy, and get happiness with K-O-K-O-S-H-U-N-G-S-A-N. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. If you like it, please like, share it, and leave comments. Thanks for your support and for helping us make the world a better place. The big book of self-help tips we all want to succeed in life. And though success does not come in a silver platter, it is still what everybody wants. This is why people get up in the morning to work and drag their body back to bed at night. People simply want better in everything. There is only one reality and no matter how you would like to escape from that, it will always lure you out. So why not face it with a more realistic approach? Escape or not, reading this big book of self-help tips will actually get you somewhere. Inside you will find at least 200 tips that you can use to improve your life and prosper at whatever you intend to do. Or when getting by is all you need, find that there are listed in this book too. They may be advice that you have already heard before but never regarded it to be true only this time, you need to read it for yourself to register. The sweet road to success is a path well taken, why not journey there? Yourself? The grand idea. The essentials to attaining life's success one own the proper mindset whether you want to simply cross the street or build an empire, you have to have it in you. Having the right attitude is always the first requirement to getting things done. And, honestly it, is the only credential that you will need, if not stick. To be interested information is power and, if you do not stick out your ear to whatever is happening, there simply would be no direction. You do not always have to know everything but it would matter a lot if you know what matters. 3b. Healthy do not be naive and think that you can have it made by intellect alone. Eat and drink the right amount of food and water, keeping yourself healthy is the only way that you can ever accomplish your goal. 4. Use your common sense it stings to hear or even read about it but it is true. Statistics have been piling on just how many people lose everything just because they forgot to use common sense. It is hardwired in every individual and it actually makes things easier. 5. Smile sad but true. Smiling transcends almost all differences and think just how it would benefit your cause. It is not the silliest a gestures to you know. It is a formula that works and has been proven with time. Individual happiness. Exploit the freebies 6. Appreciate the little. Things find a reason to be happy. It does not always have to be a person or something big. In fact, you would be astonished at how the little things can affect you in big ways. 7. Smell the Coffee the aroma alone of brewing coffee can be enough to reverend up your nerves and create a more beautiful day. 8. Ride a bicycle The thrill of riding a bicycle never gets old. In fact, the idea can be likened to the aging of wine, only gets better in time. Another is that, you will not only get to tickle your insides with it but also come out looking chic cycling all over town. 9. Walk barefoot once in a while. Dot and avoid stepping into broken glass when you do. Do this not only when you walk on the beach but also in and around your residence. Surely it will leave you with dirty souls but with a joyous experience to note. 10. Stretch far out while you yawn stifling a yawn. During a meeting is one thing but rising up from bed and stretching like you mean it is another. Try extending your arms so far out that you can almost hear your muscles contract. 11. Enjoy a bubble bath No matter what age or sex you have, bubble baths can gratify the soul within. Light. Some candles too to complete the picture. Allow yourself to revel in the pleasures that never fail. To amuse. 12. Scream for all the world to hear sometimes to draw positive energy, you must first. Release the bad ones. You can get some when you scream at the top of your lungs, sure you will. Scare the neighbors but you will also relinquish negativity. 
13 Watch the stars celebrities may be good-looking people but the Big Dipper, Venus and all the other twinkling stars are better to gaze at. Lie on the ground, revel in the presence of a million stars and you would be happy to realize they might all be twinkling for you. 14 Sing to your favorite track humming is safe but singing aloud is more satisfying than you imagined it to be. Also you do not have to do it on national TV either. Just plug in your earphones and allow the rhythm take over. 15 Have a chat with A. Toddler annoying aside, kids are the funniest creatures on earth. Not only can they make a big deal out of the simplest things but also they can do it in a way that does not irritate you like your spouse does. Makes everything ridiculously funny too. 16 Have sex have a mind-blowing sex with someone or do it with your longtime partner in places you have never done it before. It does not have to be all 50 shades but one orgasmic experience will really make you happy. It is a path well traveled. Goal setting. Hitting the right mark 17 write down your priorities it would help you significantly if you have your goals written down instead of just thinking about them. Create something like a guideline. It will keep you on track and will also serve as a reminder at how many you have achieved so far. 18. Take them down one at a time. Do not be in a rush to cross out all your likes and dreams. Instead, accomplish your goals one by one as it would be more fulfilling that way. And remember, the longer you want it, the sweeter the success will be. 19. Be realistic unless you can spare more than $20 million, you can shoot for the moon. But if not then better dwell on something else, it would just be easier that way. Not that you are afraid of challenges but setting realistic goals would bring you closer to success. 20. Admit your mistakes. They say that to accept you have committed a mistake is to be superhuman. Well, what do you know, another accomplishment achieved. 21. Recognize your support group. Never forget the people who helped you along the way. Thank them as you go along and then thank them again upon completing a goal. 22. Mark your date getting a promotion and getting a promotion within the year or two. Different goals. You must know which among your goals need to be accomplished within a certain amount of time. Procrastinating is the worst kind of company in goal setting. 23. Seek help trying. Several times is expected but failing it at more than a dozen calls for help. Know when you need to call for help because the longer you try and fail, the more you will hate yourself for not succeeding. 24. Accept criticisms. It hurts more when people criticize your work but it is one facet of life that is inevitable. Rather than sulking, use the information to your advantage or better. Yet, prove to them that you are better and bigger than what they make of you. 25. Engage in a friendly competition as Darwin put it, the human race is built to outdo each other. Well, there is no sense putting a stop to it now but only this time, make it friendly. It is healthier and simpler. If you do it that way, 26. Rejoice in your success Sometimes, people forget to congratulate themselves even after accomplishing a goal. It is a dysfunctional attitude that allows you the title but never the recognition. 27. Do it for yourself. Run a marathon because you want to do it for yourself and not because everybody else is doing it. You will never get truly satisfied if you keep allowing people to dictate or trends to dictate upon you. Money matters. Be financially stable. 28. Identify the source of your income. The first rule to becoming financially stable is to know where your money is coming from. In this way, you will know when you will have money, how much is coming and so on. Knowing that you are only living on your school allowance will discipline the way you spend your income. 29. Set up multiple bank accounts. You must have separate bank accounts for emergency, savings and daily expenditures. Setting a limit to each will not only secure your future but curtail unnecessary spending too.
30 do not spend more than what you have credit cards are great to have but it only teaches people to chew more than what they have do not fall into the habit of swiping your credit card as it only swerves you away from being debt free 31 saving a loan will not add to your money venture into business buy stocks or go into trading if you have 2 there are a lot of ways that you can do to add value to what you already have sometimes it is not all about having money but knowing how to generate an income out of it that makes it all worth your while 32 hire a bookkeeper understandably managing your own finances could be the worst saving tip self-help is nice but if it is money you are dealing with it is better and safer to just trust the experts 33 you must treat money differently one of the secrets of the wealthy people is that they actually use their money to experience different things having a million in the bank is one thing but having it and not being able to travel buy things or indulge in pleasures that money can buy is a poor downside 34 do not keep loaning there is a reason why you must not lend your money you may or may not get it back it does not mean that you have to be greedy either but it would really help to choose whom to help 35 get insured be financially protected by insuring your assets it is a cheap move for a valuable asset 36 money do not grow on trees inherited or not you simply must do something to keep the cash flowing it does not do any good either by just leaving it with the bank 37 practice bargaining you would be surprised how frugal the rich people are when they go shopping so when you find yourself with more money do not be a big spender hustle with the vendors learn the art of bargaining as it is not because you are penny pinching but you only want to get a reasonable price 38 be humble money may buy everything but it does not mean that it gives the wealthy people the right to act indifferently intellect sharpen your skills without making too much effort 39 eavesdrop on a conversation listening to other people's conversation is definitely rude but acting like you are not yet rebutting them in your mind is more interesting than actually talking out loud what is great about the idea is that you may not always actually know what they are talking about and so you learn hoping that it is not all gossip they are sharing 40 read the signs do not just walk past cafes buildings or billboards without reading the signs you would be surprised at how much information you will get if you do 41 visit a library get inside a library pick a desk and stare at the people lost in their study but do not go hannibal on them though but rather visit a library to check not only the books but also grasp the simple idea that trying to learn a thing or two is smart and sexy 42 write a love letter composing a message will stimulate your mind in a world where correspondence is often short and direct writing a love letter will not only allow you to exercise your vocabulary but also make you want to know new and more creative terms to express your emotions 43 finish a book reading a page is different from actually finishing to read a book books will often leave you wondering and often that is enough to make you want to know more 44 debate with someone raise a question state your point or simply discuss matters on hand hearing yourself talk and observing how others perceive you and your ideas is the plainest way to gauge your brain power 45 do not be shy to ask the menu list can sometimes be confusing and so if you find yourself stuck with a choice between baked mac and fish and chips while on a dinner date do not be afraid to ask 46 listen to an audiobook learn a new language while driving to and from work audiobooks are often helpful in correcting diction and pronunciation also there are a lot of audiobooks to choose from so you can always listen to what you like 47 scan the papers do not go straight to the sports page or the crossword puzzle even if you do not like it take a moment to scan the other sections of the newspaper you might be able to pick a new word or catch the 
Details of the story that everyone has been buzzing about. 48 Converse with people talk to other people, share your interests and listen to their stories. You can find mannerisms, statements and even facial reactions that you may or may not like. You can use the experience to improve your own skill or dispel off the actions that you do not like. Healthy living, eating and drinking. Practices to last you a lifetime 49 drink 8 glasses of water water is important to sustain normal body functions and because the body expels them easily through pores and bowel, each individual should drink at least 8 glasses of water. 50 eat vegetables aside from vitamins in minerals, vegetables provide fiber that allows proper digestion. Chew on some greens to keep healthy and ward off diseases. 51 do some exercise easier said than done. More and more people love the sedentary lifestyle and unless you want to fall into the same rut, you better start twisting and bending that flabby belly to extend another day. 52 quit smoking a puff of cigarette lessens the capacity of the vessels to deliver oxygenated blood to various organs. The more addicted to nicotine you get, the more energized you feel but your insides continue to deteriorate. 53 eat breakfast if you really want to get through the day, you must never skip breakfast. A bowl of cereal or two slices of bread will not only give you enough nutrition but will also control your weight without even watching it. 54 sleep the night off doze off and do it at night. You may think that catching up on your sleep during the day is the same as doing it at night. But you got it wrong. Not only do you gain more weight but also you heighten your chances of getting a headache. 55 refrain yourself from drugs prohibited or not. Too much drugs in the system is a serious problem. It destroys the liver, incapacitates the mind and most of all, makes you dependent on them. For instance, instead of popping a pain reliever, why not just rest your body until the pain goes away? 56. Maintain a clean hygiene Wash yourself regularly, brush your teeth at least three times and change your clothes. These are the essentials to warding off diseases. 57. Take supplements help yourself by taking in extra vitamins and minerals. Vitamin B will help with brain activity. Vitamin E will keep your hair strong and your skin tight while iodine will regulate thyroid function. 58 Go Natural Homeopathic Therapy has become increasingly popular and more effective than before. Indulge yourself to a cup of tea, an hour of massage and a weekend of detox. These are all meant to rejuvenate and cleanse the body of harmful toxins that are included in the many foods that humans prefer to eat today. 59. Do not swallow what you are not familiar with. Curiosity killed the cat and yet cats have nine lives, you only have one. This realization is often what people use as an excuse to try new things but what they do not really acknowledge is that, it is also one of the leading causes of accidents and death. Social conduct. Reiterating the obvious 60 hail a cab drinking all night is acceptable but driving while under the influence is stupid. Not only will it get you into an accident but it can also ruin your future. Think about the damage control that you need when you insist on getting behind the wheel when drunk. 61 use. Protection Not all women and their men are keen on getting pregnant. If you do not want to get knocked up, always ask the guy to use protection, it is for both your sake. 62. Pay your taxes The epitome of being a citizen is paying taxes. Pay your taxes right and always do it on time. Wonder why this is a self-help? Well because it gets you out of trouble. 63. Make Friends life is easier with friends around. This is one of the ultimate self-help tips because friends can do the all-around thing, you know. 64. Respect authority you may survive not regarding your parents with much respect but when you are out in the community, it is the only acceptable way to go. Keep yourself in tune with that because no matter how you dislike it, it is a system that 
works. 65 brush your teeth this should be a no-brainer. Life in general. Basic survival tip 66. Keep calm there is always a 50% chance that things will always turn out differently as planned. And. When faced with such, you must always tackle the situation with much finesse as you can gather. Take a minute to breath, analyze what is happening and then make a decision. 67. Face the challenge there is no point avoiding the issue. Whatever is at hand and no matter how troublesome it is, facing up to it is often the only way to get it over with. What you do may not be the best approach but the ultimate thing is you did not run away from it 68 be strong not giving up often solves the problem muster the strength to make it work employ the help of friends if necessary giving up is easy so reserve a muscle to keep saying no employment concerns self-help tips on how to become an effective worker as an applicant 69 check yourself out there is nothing else that can say it more than how you look. Appearance is everything and if you really want to get hired, then present yourself in a way that is both professional and appealing. Create the vibe that says, you are a valuable asset. 70 know what you are getting into never step into an interview room without the upper hand. No matter how great you look or how highly recommended you come, if you come lacking then you may never get the job. The hiring process is a two-way street. You check them out and they may just check you in. 71. Be professional corporate or not. Applicants need to be professional. And it is not just about how you present yourself but individuals who acknowledge their position during the process are the type who are most likely to get hired. As a regular Employee 72 follow through the management does not forget the words applicants say during the job interview. And if you really want to keep on the right track, better impress your bosses by accomplishing what you said you would do. 73 get to work you do not get to be called an employee. If you do not perform employee responsibilities and showing up for work is one of them. Whether you Work in the real world or through the internet, getting to work, means the same thing. 74. Achieve goals It should not be all about the salary because you would actually be dragging your feet to work if you do that. One way of becoming an effective employee is to achieve preset goals. In this way, you will not only be getting lucrative bonuses but you get to satisfy your professional needs as well. To get a higher position 75 be a team player so you want to get a promotion? Well, it would only work if you show your bosses that you can work with your colleagues effectively. Rising to the top means knowing how to move around the guys well enough to produce results. 76 show them what you still have it is no longer about your track record when you are seeking for higher office but more of what you have not done so far. Be ready to impress your company anew with ideas that forward-looking and atypical of what they know of you. 77. Be prepared. To ask for it sometimes waiting for it is not the right way to go. If you really want to get promoted, be open to the idea of asking for it. Not only will it show that you are confident to take on the position but that you are actually ready to face the challenge of proving your worth in case the need arise. How to stay on top 78 be cool people of position should not only be elusive and intellectual but rather they must also be cool. It is the only way to keep competitors in the market guessing at what your next move would be. 79 be respectful the best asset to own when you are on top is to look at ways differently but it could be the worst if you change how you regard other people. Being respectful to people, about opinions or tastes is important most especially when you have employees to answer to. 80. Learn from your predecessors they say that the best teacher is experience and yes, it does not always have to be your own. Using the wisdom of others will not only save you resources but will also open you to ideas that you may never have imagined. Yourself. Relationships. How to make them last business relationships. 
partners and customers 81. Draw the line the wrong kind of attachment often destroys the best working relationships. And that is why it is always best to define boundaries from the very beginning. It will not only keep things in check but will also prevent damage control. 82. Be legal never mix business with pleasure. 2. Make a business relationship work. Partners must always seek the services of a lawyer and an accountant. Not only will they protect the company from failing but will also prevent internal disputes. 83. Do not be ignorant. Do not simply invest financially. Instead devote a percentage of your time to study the market, the position of your business or simply be present if you need to. B. 84. Gain the trust of your customers well. Investors are always suspicious of their fellow investors so leave the attitude in the boardroom. Businesses can only thrive if companies develop a trusting relationship with their clients and customers. You can only start one by delivering what you promised. 85. Get a feedback or response or any reaction from consumers is often the best indication of being existent. Flourishing businesses die for feedbacks and even successful enterprises need to be reassured. 86. Be ready to compromise a poorly managed business relationship. Can easily be crushed by doubts about profit and other money matters. For a business relationship to work out, each partner must practice the art of compromise. It may not get you more income but it can produce the outcome you want and more personal relationships, family, friendship and intimate 87 be committed all kinds of relationship need commitment because without it, a relationship will surely fail. May it be for work, in school or with families, individuals should obligate themselves to perform their side of the bargain. 88 know when to reciprocate many personal relationships fail because partners do not know how to respond properly. There are no hard or fast rules to developing or nurturing a relationship. You only have to let go and allow your emotions to take over. 89. Realize the need to communicate if you really want your partnership to work. Then better master the art of talking and listening. It is the single most powerful secret to every other kind of relationship that exists. 90. Be creative. A boring relationship is in an interesting kind of relationship. You simply must challenge yourself and look for ways to spark curiosity or inject life to what you have. Families need to go on a vacation. Friends need to catch up and there are a lot of things that should interest any couple. 91. Be yourself loving family. Members, friends and couples should never pretend with each other. Such relationships should create the most open of all environments. 92. Show some love. Sometimes it is not enough that you belong to one family. Children often long for their parents to hug them or pat them on the shoulder. Friends. Want more than having a good time plus treat your lover the best way that you can. Mentoring. Relationships. 93. Recognize the purpose of the relationship apprenticeship programs work best if Parties involve acknowledge the purpose of the association. You must generate an approach that is welcoming, carefully thought of and well executed. 94. Set a time frame to better achieve results. Teacher-student relationships must create a schedule that is both fitting and achievable. 95. Have an open mind. You will not like every person that you meet but in such kind of relationship, whether it is mandatory or not, one must not pass judgment about others. 96. Have fun do not be stiff, let loose and have fun. 97. Be generous prod and encourage your subordinate by giving commending his or her performance. The only way to make a mentoring relationship work is by freely giving comments and suggestions in order to achieve goals more effectively. Keeping up. How to win with everyday agonies 98 Be patient if there is a long line at the cafeteria, just shrug it out and wait for your turn. If your ride is running late, just sit it out a bit and it will come eventually.
These are examples of daily nuisances that people get caught up with but instead of hating every minute of it, why not just extend your patience a little longer? And things will eventually fall in place. 99 Lousy Boss At one point in the life of an employee, he or she will think that they have the worst boss in the entire planet. Well, welcome to the club. But there is no point sticking with the thought because they will continue keep coming to work as 1. So why spend another minute thinking about how you are better than your boss when clearly it is not getting you anywhere? 100 No more hot water you wake up late and you find there is no more hot water, in the shower and for your coffee. Stomping your feet or ruffling your hair may help. But then again, what is the point? Set your alarm earlier so you can shower with all the hot water. You can take and leave your roommates out to dry. 101 Empty promises Sometimes you may just end up with people who cannot get the meaning of promptness and you get nothing but, sorry, or I'll be better tomorrow. This is really exasperating especially when you are the one too. Answer so instead of getting it every day, why not be straight and fire the guy if you have to? 102. Horrible date when all you wanted was to enjoy a perfect date night, you will probably end up with a horrible rendezvous. This is one of the perks of dating and as sad as it may seem, there is nothing you can do about it but laugh it out and eat the night away. 103. Age is just a number stop. Counting your age because honestly, no one is asking. And besides, the more you concern yourself with it, the more you will look like it. 104. Shift your focus not because you want to look younger. That your hobbies have to be young too. Be sensible and engage in activities that will keep you fit. Above anything else. What is the use of youth if you break every bone trying to hold off? Aging? 105 Keep learning It is not always about how you look and though it may be the first thing that people check, it may not always be the one that sticks. There is no limit to what you can ascertain as long as you keep it at 106 Go places travel to places and keep doing that until you can no longer take it. Experience different cultures, visit destinations and most of all, expand your reach. There is simply no use waiting for your age to pile if you really want to enjoy life. 107 Give back the rewards of being able to give back to the community can be more therapeutic than one would ever admit. You do not have to make your own foundation or anything, but choosing a cause to support and keep it it will definitely bust those aging blues. 108 Laugh out. Loud people forget to laugh sometimes because the more engrossed with life people get, the lesser chance they hang out, do adventurous stuff and even laugh. The benefits of laughing are too many. That finding not a single reason to laugh is hilarious. Beating the odds. What to do when things did not go as expected death of a beloved 109 allow yourself to grieve losing a loved one is extremely difficult but not allowing yourself to cry is even worse. Release your hurt through tears or wailing or screaming. Grieving is as natural as death so do not keep it all in. 110 Talk to someone about it. It may take a while but talking to someone about pain is more important than you might think it is. Nurturing the angst, hurt and pain can sometimes be more than you can handle. So. Before you break down, seek the help of someone who can listen to your every word. 111. Visit their grave as difficult as it may seem. Visiting the grave of dead loved ones will help with acceptance and release. It often is a good way of realizing that they have gone to a better place. 112. Have some quiet time or meditate. Find a place of solitude and pray or meditate on your own. It is often the only way to comfort the grieving self. 113. Be ready to forgive when there is someone to blame. For the death of a loved one, it is often difficult to move on from it. Being able to forgive is not only noble but also the best way to move on. Broken relationships 114. It is not a unique 
Situation people get their hearts broken all the time so why should your case be any different? As difficult as it may seem, relationships end and it may not be the ending that you hoped for, it is what you got. But hey, it did not only happen to you. 115 Get a closure you can never really move on from a relationship when you have not had closure. It is the tick that keeps you from moving on. It keeps you insecure and most importantly, makes you wait longer. 116 Men that not all broken. Relationships are meant to end and if you know or if you are certain that you are simply having a rough patch then work on it. Do not simply let it go. 117 Hang out with new people meeting new. People are hanging out with friends is the quickest way to move on from a defunct relationship. Not that you are so callous about it but sometimes, when things have come full stop there is simply no sense of waiting around. 118 Lower your pride love is never often without pride and sometimes, it is the ego that ruins a good relationship. When such thing happens, make sure you know when to raise a white flag. Be the first one to say sorry or simply, make the move. Unemployment. Blues. 119 Look for a new job in this day and age, there is no use sulking. With failing economies and heightened use of technology, humans are at the losing end. So instead of yapping about it, print out a new resume and work on getting hired by another company. 120 Develop a new skill revamp yourself by learning new skills with increasing unemployment numbers and decreased job opportunities you must outsmart others by adding a new trick up your sleeve 121 there is time to be choosy unless you are uber talented then you can risk being picky but honestly even in mba degree cannot guarantee a corporate job nowadays so if ever you find yourself with options that are lower than your expectations, you just have to make the best out of it. 122 Work more than one job because times are hard, why not work two jobs? Pick one that is fun and another that pays well. It will not only keep you amused but will definitely keep you afloat. 123 Change your lifestyle when you see yourself unable to get back on track, better rethink the way you live. By resisting to change your lifestyle will not only limit your choices for a new job but also it will probably leave you with more debt. Guilty as charged. When the problem is you 124 accept the blame in real life. Accepting the blame may not be that easy to handle but refuting the allegations only messes things up too. Help the situation by not only accepting the charges but also cooperating with the authorities to resolve the issue. 125 Do not make up stories it is but natural for people at fault to fabricate lies. It is a common reaction but yet again, it only stalls solving the problem. 126 Give in to an intervention again, this may not be easy as it sounds but you must recognize that people are only trying to help you get better. If you are with Children, think about how the situation may be interfering with their lives. 127 Offer the truth A situation is never resolved with just catching culprits red-handed. In fact, if you find yourself in such situations, always explain yourself. Not that it would take the blame out of your hands but at least, it would shed a better light on why it happened to you. 128 Subject to Correction rehabilitation does not occur within days. In fact, depending on the severity, you might even be sent to prison, treatment facility or detained in your own house. Either way, punishing you. For it is often the only effective way of making you realize what you committed. 129 Do not lose. Hope hoping for a better ending is not a crime. Wanting a way out of the situation is not bad. Either because honestly, it will all happen in time. Hope is not a bad thing to hold on to, in fact. It may just be what keeps you alive. 130 Do not linger on the past after serving time, completing 
treatment or healing from the wounds, walk away from the situation with head held high. It may not be the happiest of thoughts but do not let the ordeal take over your life. Make peace with it and start fresh. 131. Steer away from trouble by all means. Prevent yourself from going down the same path. Do not retrace your steps or simply walk away if you find yourself back in the same place. Loneliness. Dealing with the situation. 132. Think of something else the worst combination. Loneliness being alone. If you can do it, try not to dwell on the idea and just think of something else. Or if there is simply no one responding to your cries for help, talk to an object. But do not overdo to the point of being psycho. 133 Answer the question Sometimes, people end up alone because of their own doing and yet they fail to see this because they would rather concentrate on their hurt feelings and self-pitying. In between your sobs, answer the question. Why has this happened to me? The answer can often end your misery. 134 Prove them wrong The oldest trick in the book of being dumped is to make them feel sorry for losing you. Though, this may not happen so soon, it is the best therapy to suiting a broken heart. 135 Spend their money before your divorce papers come through. Go on a shopping spree and charge it to your soon-to-be ex's bank account. You might not get a dime after the proceedings but at least you got a kick out of the situation. 136. Find a new love Make yourself feel special by jumping into the arms of another person. You may or may not end up satisfied but at least you tried. 137. Call a friend Grab your phone and dial a friend's number. Physical separation can easily be mended with a phone call so do not make a big deal out of an ordinary situation. 138. Switch on the television if your lonely situation is not the type of lonely where you are breaking down and all hating yourself. Just switch on the television to forget that you are indeed along in your place, hotel room or wherever. 138. Consider it a break. Solitude is often difficult to come by especially when you are the type of person who loves working and hanging out with people. Just the mere idea of being alone might scare but why not consider it as your break, and alone time. People need it, too, you know. 139. Make it your choice sometimes. Some people are really meant to be alone in life. And it may not always be as bad as people think it to be. If you find yourself being alone for quite some time, assess the situation. Maybe it is how you want your life to be. 139. Think of something else. 140. End it to wallow in loneliness is difficult, but at some point, you will outgrow the situation. It may take months, if not years, to do so, but it will happen, and when it does, end your struggle and move on. Suicidal tendencies. How to kill the itch 141. Do not take it lightly, not to mean that you have to give in to the tick, but do not take it lightly. Advice by not asking for help or telling you have been thinking about it. Having the idea in your head is never a normal thing, so once you catch yourself daydreaming about it, call for help immediately. 142. Google the signs you may begin to doubt yourself and wonder why all the crazy ideas are suddenly in your head. If you can still control them, research on the internet or ask someone about it. 143. Stay away from drugs and booze Suicidal thoughts can worsen if you mix it up with too much. Partying, drinking and drugs. It is important to keep yourself active and healthy once you start. Having such ideas. 144. Never spend time alone because it is not easy to admit to a close friend that you have been having thoughts on killing yourself then prevent yourself from being alone. Pathetic as it may sound, always find an excuse to bunk with someone else until you are ready to tell someone about it. 145. Think about the Ten Commandments whether or not you believe in them. Making yourself realize that it is a sin to kill and your soul will suffer damnation for it could help squeeze the idea out of your head.
146. Tell yourself that it is a crazy thought as much as you can, debate with yourself and keep repeating the line in your head, it is a crazy thought, it is a crazy thought, it is a crazy thought. 147. Show recognizable signs if you cannot really say them out loud, show some outward signs that you are struggling within. Do something strange or weird, enough to make other people take a second look at you. 148. Submit yourself to treatment. Go to your physician and tell him or herself about the thoughts you are having. Suicidal tendencies cannot be prevented on your own so keep yourself alive by committing yourself immediately. 149. Help others by talking about it. Consider yourself lucky when you have succeeded in taming down those suicidal thoughts. Then after, if you are willing, talk about how you overcame yourself. As suicidal tendencies can be difficult to detect, coming out proud about surviving it can help some people quietly suffering from it to do the same and seek treatment like what you did. 150 b. Cautious a person who has had suicidal tendencies must never break away from their support group. You may never know when the thoughts start invading your mind again. Inhibited by inhibitions. How? To break free 151 who is it? Identifying the trigger of your inhibition is key in solving it. If you are shy around girls then check the reason why but most probably because you want to impress and yet you do not know how. 152. Find a reason to get closer if you cannot bring yourself to go near someone. Find a reason for you to get close without having to force yourself to like, attend the same class or force your friend to set you up or something. Just make a way to, suddenly, find yourself near the person. 153. What is stopping you? If you cannot stand the idea of walking, up to someone or mentioning your point during a meeting, check the reason why the idea suffocates you. If you are just afraid to be neglected or proven wrong, then why not take an effort to double? Check your point to protect yourself from being embarrassed, if it is the thing you are scared about. 154. Are you an overthinker? If the answer is yes then you are probably having a hard time approaching anyone else as well. Too much rationalization is bad because you may have played out the scene in your head so many times that you find no point in making the point out loud. 155. Just do it arg. Just go over and do it. Constantly wanting to but breaking apart just by the thought of it can be so exasperating that it can kill you. So after all the beating around the bush and Driving in circles, just do it and do not turn back until you have reached your destination. When your ego gets the best of you 156, watch me, I am so good. If you want to be recognized for something, try not to want it too much. People would rather compliment the people who are not asking for it than those who already have it but still want it. 157 inches you were not too bad. Yourself. If you are only saying this so your fellow would emphasize on what you did after, then you are feeding your ego very badly. Sooner than later, your friends will notice how you play the conversation and will stop even playing with you at all. 158. I am better than you. Because, if suddenly you begin acting like you are better than your friends just because you got promoted or got an award for something is a big no-no. 159. Just because you can afford it that you should wear it you are so rich that you cannot dress simply for a casual Friday night out. You are so pretty that you always say that people are looking at you and that you are the prettiest. 160. Me, me and me. When you always want to talk about yourself and even if no one is asking, you always inject a phrase or two about how you did it as well as super annoying. You do not have to be beautiful, rich or intelligent to be doing this. If you notice that you are the only one talking in your table, maybe you just went on one of your famous monologues. Top 10. 
Virtues you must adapt to enjoy a more prosperous life 161 Devotion An enthusiastic zeal devotion In a relationship keeps you away from being an infidel. It keeps your loyalty to your company and, of course, your eagerness to simply do better in life. Just look at the numerous nuns who have chosen a vocation of devoutness. 162 Grace keeping it all in despite all the heartaches and pains. In life, individuals should struggle to adapt to a life filled with grace. You need not be beautiful if you exude grace as with it. Everything seems to glow so easily. 163 Idealism. The pursuit of perfection despite everything else. Each individual should always pursue idealistic ways. In times of chaos, need or dispute, it may be the only virtue that will keep you sane. And, after, idealism will allow you to keep your humanity too. 164 Love, love, love. It is truly the purest of all emotions and exactly what you need to make you want better things. And because, all you need is love. 165 Mercy. Knowing when to be powerful understanding the concept of forgiveness is one thing but being able to give mercy is another. In this cruel world that people live in, mercy is a saving grace. 166 Sensitivity. A touching asset knowing exactly when to react. And what to do about a certain situation is too lovely especially between individuals who have no power to say their needs out loud. 167 Wonder. Insatiable curiosity to be continuously amazed by things as crucial as it revitalizes the human spirit despite failing circumstances. 168 Service. Giving back when it matters the ability of helping others is a very powerful tool in satisfying the inner self. It is an act that is never fails to bring smile to everyone's faces. 169 Knowledge. The power to reason knowing what to do, how to act, when to respond and how to do it are important. Things to own in times of joy and pain. Being able to process an idea has been the only thing that has separated man from the other creatures. Constantly sharpen your intellect by feeding your mind with ideas, thoughts and information. 170 Joyfulness. A smile to give because life is not always easy. Finding reasons to smile is as important as physique and intellect. Regaining your strength. In life, love and everything else 171 find new meaning. This may sound absurd especially when you have hit rock bottom but it may just be what you need to read or hear. It does not mean you have to find a new love almost immediately but just get out there and have fun. 172 Redefine your goals when starting anew. It is best to change everything starting from what you want to achieve. Life, yet again, failure can be tough to handle but dwelling on it is the worst. Set up a new business but attempt at goals that is different from before. Wanting to retrace your steps can be tougher so why not set out differently instead. 173 Let go hanging on the past will never get you anywhere and sometimes, you can never really move on unless you are ready to let all your feelings go. Burdening yourself with thoughts of the past is a waste of precious time and before you know it, you have been robbed of viable years. 174 Rehabilitate your mind and body subject to Therapy if you have to but definitely, you need to work on your muscles and brain activity to get things started again. 175 Seek spiritual advice Religion or no religion, following and listening to a higher being will lead you to a better path. At times when everything seems so lost, the only thing that can fill in the void are words that are beyond compare. Makeovers. The powers that B 176 It is for your ego The ego is the stomach to your confidence. If you do not feed it for the longest of time, you just get bogged down easily until you feel like a sore loser. A makeover is an ideal way to replenish it and you can come to enjoy it too if only you are willing not to be a girl. 
about it. 177 It changes your aura notice how sometimes a plain haircut can make other people take a second look and say, there is something new with you and it is not just the hair. Have you ever heard the line? Well, because sometimes, a plain haircut can do that so how much more if you had a makeover, right? 178 It is self-satisfying a makeover is downright a selfish act of fulfillment and you simply must indulge in one to enjoy life and live healthy. 179 Take up a new hobby Try going out of your comfort zone and learn a new sport. Team up with new set of friends and sweat it out like a pro. You will soon realize that tweaking your sports hobby can be enough to reinvent your persona. 180 Buy a new set of clothes daring to wear an ensemble that you have constantly avoided may be difficult but first but with under the advisement of a fashion guru, you may just be able to pull it off. To see the delight in other people's eye will surely boost your confidence and will make you want to dare more. 181 Move to a new district not wanting to sound like you are running away but sometimes the best medicine to a damaged soul is to relocate to a new place, with a new job and new set of skills. It may even sound too much to handle but when the pressure is as heavy as it sounds, escaping into something new is the best thing to do. 182 Delete. Your Facebook page being constantly reminded of your painful past will take you a longer time to heal. Though social networking sites can be fun at times, some people just do more damage than good with their callous remarks. Deactivate or delete them to avoid being hurt. 183 Adopt a pet you do not have to be an animal person to appreciate animals. Go to the shelter and pick a dog or cat to your liking. It has been constantly proven that an animal's presence is too powerful to overcome grief, depression or even simple misfortunes. 184 Punch the wall Release your pent-up emotions by balling your fist and satisfying your urge to punch by directing it to the wall. Well, a person's face would have been more gratifying but it can send you to jail. So why not exhibit some karate moves and release your anger through the wall? 185 Stroke the brush You need not emulate Picasso. When you decide to do some painting but just do it to see how you react with the play of colors. Colors often allow people to remember a happier thought, which could be enough to revive a lost soul. 186 Plunge into the water Diving is one of the most exhilarating experiences that man can indulge on. It is risky but more fun. It releases more endorphins than chocolate and so you end up wet but very, very happy being wet. 187 Go to India India is the most populous place on earth. Once you get there, it is impossible to lose yourself. Sometimes, you just need to visit a place where there is so much life that it makes you realize how minuscule and pathetic your concerns are. Also, India is a spiritual place where you can rejuvenate both mind and body. 188 Watch a Japanese anime If you think cartoons are too wonderful, why not try watching Japanese anime? Not only are the characters well drawn, the Eastern culture emphasized but most of all, the stories are closer to heart than how you imagine Japanese anime to be. 189 Learn to say no people can be insanely Polite at times, too polite that they cannot resist saying yes instead of a resounding no. This is the most common way of being taken advantage of and it just does not fit well with reinventing yourself. Do no keep satisfying others by continuously denying yourself. 190 Do something radical Get a tattoo, dye your hair or go to Las Vegas. You may end up waking up like Katy Perry and wondering what just happened but at least you wake up all psyched out. Consider it your last. Hurrah before finally rebuilding yourself again. End of the road. Zoning in on what you have 191. Take control of your life enough with all the what ifs and what not and simply take over your. 
ideals and make them real. If you want a new job, then find one instead of procrastinating in spending all daydreaming about how well you are going to do in your interviews in evaluations. 192 Discipline yourself If you do not want to be fat, then watch what you eat. If you want a higher salary, then work on impressing the boss and if you want to start a new, better start acting on it. 193 Tame your temper Take over your annoyance over someone or something. Divert your attention to something else instead of dwelling on your growing irritation. Or better yet, know when to walk away. 194 Be concerned Wake up to the reality that you have to care to find your niche. No matter how much you say that you can exist on your own, or that you do not care, you may just end up fooling yourself. The human society may not be as traditional as before but standards still exist and you may just have to know how to act appropriately. 195 Take a day. Off one of the reasons why people fail big time is because they do not know when to take a break. If you are on your second shot at life, then take a day or two to catch your breath, relax and just see where you are going. 196 Eat some chocolate like L said, and because happy people just do not kill each other. Chocolates are simply the tastiest addictive substance there is. It feeds the ego, provides nutrients and of course, always brings surprises. 197 Be responsible you cannot blame it all on the economy, supervisors or colleagues. Make up for what you lack and double your efforts if you want to create a brighter future for yourself. 198 Accept yourself you may never ever get to succeed in life if you keep beating yourself down. Sometimes, you must simply accept who you are and work on a better you. 199 Dance with your father This may sound weird in out of place but whether you are dealing with personal, family, work-related issues or whatever. Having someone to look up to provides a sense of direction. Dance, laugh, sing or fish with your father. Sometimes, it is simply enough to know that someone wants you to have a better shot at life. 200 You are enough sometimes, you just have to accept that tough you are not perfect, you satisfy. It is a realization that can change the way you look at life and give new meaning to starting over. Conclusion success can be defined in so many different ways. In fact, your definition of victory may be different with your mother's definition of success but on the second thought, it serves the same purpose. For you to have a better life. No matter how mind-boggling life can be, it remains to be a gift and people can only enjoy it once. Like the satisfaction you get at the end of the movie, you want that too with your own life. You want to excel in your chosen profession, live happily with your spouse and grow old satisfied. These are expected and yet you know what? The biggest catch in life is not being able to outdo yourself at every turn but actually in being able to do things yourself. Sometimes, the soul, the body and the mind can only be accomplished by your own effort. Wishing that this ebook opened your eyes to the fact that there are so many things in life that you can use to better your life. And most of them do not come with a price tag too. Learn more at uni24x7.com kokoshungsan pays you to have fun. Kakashingsin.net